that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam, cause he's brave to the core Sam is the hero next door Sam, today you will be in charge of smoke room training with Firefighter Phillips. Yes, sir. Firefighter Cridlington will join you when he's finished washing our fine vehicles. But I've already finished station officer Steele. Yes, well, they, they need to look clean, pristine and gleaming. But they do, don't they, sir? No, Cridlington. Look at Jupiter. There's a bit of dirt there, and a bit there, and that bit's very grubby indeed. All right, sir. Well, I'm off to polish my favourite little beauty, Bessie. Right then, Ellie. Let's get ready for some smoke room training. Brilliant, Sam. So exciting. Much more exciting than cleaning. to be the king. No, I'm the king. I'm always the king when we play castles and kings. And queens, Norman. And queens, yes. But this is the only hat left. I don't even know what it is. It's what brave knights used to wear, James. Isn't that the hat your mum wore to Auntie Phyllis's wedding? What? No, of course it isn't, Sarah. It's a brave knight's hat. Don't listen to her, James. Now, children, I know how much you love playing castles and kings. So, I've made you a dragon. Oh, a spectacular fire-breathing dragon. I'll be the king of dragons. Yay! It's amazing. No, it's not. It doesn't fly. It's not green. And it doesn't breathe fire. I, I did do it in a bit of a hurry. Why don't I take it back to the station and find some bits and pieces to make it a bit more, um, dragony? I think I'd better go with you. Oh, all right, Norman. You can help me carry it. Right. I just need to get rid of all this old ash from the lastril before we light the cribs. OK, Sam. Don't worry, Jupiter. I've got a plan to get you clean in record time. Whoa! Sorry, Sam. Don't worry about me, Elvis. I could just wash my face. But I think Jupiter might need another clean. Oh, no. There you are, Missy. You'll be clean, pristine and gleaming in no time. Hello, Station Officer Steele. Norman Price. What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, Gareth, I didn't see you there, as long as he's properly supervised. Have you got anything like... A plane engine or a high-powered rocket so the dragon can fly. Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light the fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! Oh, look, Jupiter. They're starting the smoke room training now. Right then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. 100%. Sam. 
Oh, no. Cridlington, what are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper. And her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Cridlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine and gleaming. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. Oh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah, behold! My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! He's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh! And he's coming towards us! Wow! Towards the station. I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Betty's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh, thank you, Sam. Well, Ellie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. Oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No. Far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly said Station Officer Steele's Nelly. Um, I think you'll find that's Betty. Station Officer Steele's Bessie ablaze! I'm sorry, Mum. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches, and that is one thing you must never do. I know, Fireman Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! Told you! Norman! You said it was what brave knights used to wear. You are in even more trouble now, Norman Price! Come here! Ah! There you are, Station Officer Steel. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine and gleaming. Ooh! There's a bit of dirt here, sir. And a bit of dirt there. And that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir.